All right, everybody, Sylvia here. I am coming to you from the desert of Southern California. Today, I wanna do a video talking about my big, epic 9,000 mile USA Moto Myrtle tour. I wanna let you guys know what the route is and some of the particulars. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, you guys, so today I want to talk about this big tour that I'm going to be starting in March. And let me show you what I'm going to be riding. This is Myrtle the Turtle, my HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS20. It has 20 inch wheels all the way around and full suspension. This trike is 10 years old and running strong. Myrtle the Turtle has taken me all over the world. Uh, three years ago, I added the Shimano Steps E8000. This is a 250 watt motor. There is no throttle. I have two mounted batteries. One very big difference for this tour than my previous tours is I have always used panniers. I've got two Ortlieb recumbent panniers and then a large rack bag, kind of a duffel bag. And because I have the electric assist and I'm gonna have four batteries, the weight exceeds what I can put on the rear rack. And because it's over 10 years old and well used, I felt like I didn't wanna add any extra stress. And so I have picked up a Burley Nomad trailer and I'm really just in the testing phase of it. But I think this is going to work out uh, really well. So the route, yeah, I am going to be using adventure cycling maps and routes wherever I can. Adventure Cycling is a company out of Missoula, Montana, and they are the best in the business for designing bike routes all over the United States. I'm in Southern California and I'm going to be starting from here. I'm about 100 miles from the closest point on the bike route 66, which goes from Chicago to Santa Monica. I'm going to be taking it in the other direction and I'm going to take it about 2000 miles to Southwest Missouri to Springfield. I've already been in touch with people there. So one guy on the Southwest Missouri Facebook page. He left a comment on my YouTube channel saying, get in touch with us. Let us know when you're coming through. We would love to do a group ride. And I wrote back, I said, you know, it's been a real problem for me ever since I started touring that I don't have a way to keep track of where people live. He said, I think I can help you with this. And Andy O'Neill has put together a contact form designed it and it is there's a link in the description below please fill it out and there's a database and i'm going to be able to keep track of where all my subscribers and followers friends and family live as i am traveling not only that but he's showing me how to use mailchimp so i can just pinpoint maybe as i'm coming into arizona i can send out an email to all the people that live in Arizona that are on my contact list. And this is going to be very, very helpful. Not only that, there is more. He is putting together a store where people can donate for things that I might need along the way. So let's say I need to get a new set of tires or I need to get Myrtle into a bike shop and it's gonna be very expensive. And he's putting together a donation store that people can help me with the costs. I mean, it's really, really incredible. And yeah, check out the link to Andy's uh, YouTube channel. And I just think what he's doing for me could be very useful for a lot of people, particularly anybody traveling and wanting to meet friends, family, followers along the way, people traveling by motorcycle, van life, uh, RVers for sure could could find this very very useful and um, just a really big thank you to Andy and all the work that he's doing for me. He's been an absolute delight to work with. So from Southwest Missouri and Springfield, this group is going to put me on the Katy Trail. Katy Trail goes across the state of Missouri and ends in St. Louis. 
I am really hoping that I can get a good group of recumbents, trikers, cyclists to do a photo op under the St. Louis Arch. I think that's going to look really great. From St. Louis, Adventure Cycling has just announced they've extended what they call their Eastern Connector Route. So I'm going to be taking this section from St. Louis to Indianapolis. At the moment, there are no paper maps for this route. It's all online, uh, but it's all mapped out. And then from Indianapolis to Pittsburgh, I need to figure out how to get on the Gap, the Greater Allegheny Passage. I know there's wonderful cycling paths all through Ohio, and I'm going to count on my community to advise me the best way to get from Indianapolis to Pittsburgh. The Gap Trail goes from Pittsburgh to Cumberland, Maryland, and from there I have two options to go into Washington, D.C. I can take the CNO towpath or I can take the Washington and Old Dominion path. I'll figure that out once I get closer. Once I'm in Washington, D.C., you're probably thinking, yeah, that's the end. Get on a plane and come on back. But you know what? I can't because I am using electric assist and you cannot get those batteries on a plane. So I decided Let's just ride back. And so from Washington, D.C., I'm going to be getting on the Trans America bike route. This is another adventure cycling route. It's the oldest route in the United States. It was actually designed for the bicentennial in 1976. I think it's also the most popular bike route for sure to go across the country. It goes from Virginia, across the country to Oregon, to the coast of Oregon. And I want to be on the coast of Oregon the beginning of September for the recumbent retreat. I have attended the recumbent retreat probably for 16, 17 years. And this year is going to be the 25th anniversary. I think it's going to be really fun. I really want to be there for that. After the retreat, I'm going to take the Pacific Coast route to Los Angeles. Uh, this is a route that I have done three times, somewhat familiar with it. And from Los Angeles, I'll make my way back to church. So that is the route. And I also want to give a really big shout out to my friend Joni, who has the church here. Uh, St. Clair of Assisi. She very generously is letting me keep my truck and trailer here. I think this tour is going to take about nine, maybe even 10 months. And what she is doing for me is just huge. I'm going to make her a sponsor of my YouTube channel. And I'll have a link to her Facebook page for her church, St. Clair of Assisi. There's a donation button on her Facebook page. She does a fabulous service. She has in church services and then she also does zoom services and she follows the liturgy and her message is always very positive uplifting inclusive and very clear um, yeah so give her a look and a shout out and if following church services gives you comfort please consider giving her a donation as well um, you know between Joni and Andy, I mean, you know, these people are really just going way beyond with their generosity. So please let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the route, the video. Expect a lot more content I am planning on documenting every step of the way as I prepare for this tour. It's just a little over two months away. My head is spinning with all the things that I need to take care of. So yeah, please be safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time.